Okay, guys, so <clears throat> I haven't found my phone. I have two phones, so you know, y'all, don't be like, oh, you're on your phone. No, I am on my phone, but I actually have two phones, so I don't know where it's at. I don't know where it's at. I'm not going to um, stress myself out about it. But what I did find is I actually did find the article about the guy. It was two different stories. The story I was talking about, it was a random attack on Asians. You know, it's been a lot of random attack on Asians because people say that they're the ones that brought the COVID-19 and all this other crazy mess, but yeah, this is the one. This is the one that the lady um was talking about. <clears throat> so right here, I'ma just read it and then I'll flip my phone over and um show you guys the picture. Let me see if they have um, yeah, then I can flip it over and show you guys a picture. But I do, I should have did this on, um, StreamYard. But the, it's crazy because, like, all these, all these ads. Like, Google is actually good about ads. You know, but every time you ask all the ad, here comes 80 more. So, anyway, um, it says American teacher is sentenced to death in China. <laughs> I don't know why you would do this in China, dude. For fatally stabbing his 21-year-old girlfriend when she tried to break off the relationship. So, she didn't want to be with him no more. Typical. It says Shahid Abdul Monte, originally from Los Angeles, was sentenced to death. And you should know that he's going to be sentenced to death. He's over there in China. They don't play that. On Thursday for international homicide in China. They call it international homicide. Abdul Monte, a teacher at Nambo University of Technology, met the victim identified only by her surname Chin in 2019 after lying about being divorced. Wow. So after repeatedly trying to break up with him in May of 2021, the pair agreed to meet at a bus stop in Ninjbo around Ninjbo around 8 p.m. So I don't know what she was thinking. Maybe she thought, you know, I'm going to meet up with him and let him know what it is. And then he, he'll be cool with it. I can move on with my life. It's probably, you know how women are. Women are nice. I wouldn't have went. If he said, look, let's meet up. No, I don't want nothing else to do with you. Like, we're not meeting up anywhere. Roughly two hours later, he stabbed Chin in her neck and face and... She was pronounced dead at the scene. The court found Abdul Monte guilty of premeditated revenge killing. Locals were repeated, reportedly angry by how slow the police worked due to him being a uh, foreigner and said it shouldn't be a protective umbrella to escape punishment. Um, it is unclear if Abdul Monte will appear. I think they mean appeal the death penalty. China is believed to carry out thousands of executions a year. Mm, mm, mm.
He looks old. Let me show you all this picture. That's him. He looks old. All right, here it says Shahi Abdul Monte, originally from Los Angeles, was sentenced to death on Thursday for international homicide in China. He might get it, and there's no telling how they're gonna kill him. He might get a firing squad. They do some. We gonna look up um what kind of practices they use in uh, China. It is unclear if he plans to appeal the decision. Um, Abdul Monte met the victim in 2019. So, this man was, um, must have been married because they said he lied about his divorce. Look, look at look at all the people the judges this gonna be the are these the judges or the jury these look like judges those could be the jury i'm not for sure the court found yeah these are the judges or the jury they said um he stabbed and cut chin and her face and neck several times. Resulting in her death was motivated by vile motives, resilient intent and cruel means and the circumstances of the crime were particularly bad and the consequences is particularly serious and should be punished according to law the court said according to CNN mm -mm -mm. this is an English teacher And these are supposed to be the future husbands that these black women are supposed to be getting with. I don't think so. This is sad. Here's another picture right here. Says he was an English teacher. It's crazy. Absolutely redundant. He posted two YouTube videos in 2013. One showing a lesson plan for teaching the English words for different uh, weather conditions. What does it say? Sunny, cloudy, windy, snowy, rainy. And then they have this, um, some. 